You know, things that happen these days either make me very, very angry or make me laugh hysterically. These past couple of weeks, I have tried to suppress my anger because it's not good for my health and also, um, you know, it won't change anything. So instead, when I read about things that happen in Malaysia with Malaysian politicians, I try to laugh hysterically if possible. This morning, I almost choked on my kopi o and tapao noodle soup. This bloody coronavirus is much more clever than I or any of our politicians thought. I read today that the virus can now distinguish between cabinet ministers who have gone on official trips abroad to other countries and those who have not. The health minister, that's right, the one who said, uh, who told us not so long ago that drinking warm water will kill the virus. Remember him? Yeah. He announced that with immediate effect, all cabinet ministers who travel on official business to COVID-19 infected countries will upon return only be required to undergo three days of observation. No need to quarantine, right? But what the difference is between observe and quarantine, nobody bothered to explain. Ministers, three days of observation. Normal citizens, 10 days of quarantine. Yeah, exactly. What the f***, right? I didn't know that our cabinet ministers were some sort of superhuman beings, you know? Did you? Or, uh, wait, 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 wait. This is an interesting conspiracy theory. No, no, hear me out. You know the stories we've been trading with each other over lunch or drink or kopi o about what happened to the vaccines that we supposedly paid billions of ringgit to buy but never arrived? All our neighboring countries have received their vaccines, but we haven't. Hmm. Could it be that our cabinet ministers have, in fact, been secretly vaccinated and they didn't tell us about it? Is this the health minister's way of breaking the news to all of us schmucks? Possible, right? In Malaysia, everything is possible. Anything is possible. Uh, wait a minute. Wasn't that a Merdeka Day um, slogan some years ago? Malaysia, anything is possible. All right, so back to the case in point. The ministers are required to be observed for three days to ascertain that they no longer pose a danger to other Malaysians. Great. But didn't somebody tell this health minister that the coronavirus, the COVID-19 virus incubation period is between five and six days? And oh yes, the rule only applies to cabinet ministers returning from official trips. So if the virus knows that you went for work, it'll be more forgiving, is it? Ah, so, okay. Hey, hold on, hold on a second. For the past 30 minutes or so, when I was writing this nonsense, I didn't laugh. I didn't laugh one second, or much less hysterically. All it did was... It made me very, very angry. Hmm. So maybe I shouldn't read the morning news anymore and just go back to bed and go back to sleep. And then maybe when I wake up, it'll all be a dream.